The ASM-1 is by far my favorite submachine gun in this game, so stick around to watch a beastly DNA bomb with it. Yo, what is going on everybody? My name is Connor, but you guys can call me Superior. Today, bringing you guys possibly my best gameplay so far on Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Now, this is a solo um, ASM-1 DNA bomb, and uh, the funny thing about this gameplay was, you know, it was just an ASM-1, it was a submachine gun. Now, the submachine guns aren't too good in this game, uh, so this was definitely a harder challenge than using something like the BAL-27. But what really, to me, made this gameplay special was um, I just randomly searched for a momentum game. It put me in one in session that only had about five minutes left uh, in the initial, like, first ten minute period, because normally it's like a three minute overtime. Um, and that's actually when I got the DNA bomb. So when I first joined this game, I looked to see who was on my team, and I saw someone with the gamer tag TK Burnsy. I'm like, you know, that kind of sounds familiar. So uh, after a little bit of research, I found out that that was Minnesota Burns. And if you guys don't know who Minnesota Burns is, uh, he's just like a Call of Duty troller. He has a little over a million subscribers, I believe. But um, it was pretty cool to get in a game with him. And initially, I was going to leave because I don't really like joining games in session because it doesn't allow me a full game uh, to go for a gameplay. So I was initially going to leave, but I looked at my team, and I'm like, oh, well, let's try and get a DNA bomb. And it turns out I actually ended up getting one, uh, which was absolutely awesome. Now, uh, another thing that was kind of funny and kind of out of the ordinary about this gameplay was um, right when the overtime started, if you guys don't know how momentum works, it's like a 10 minute initial game and if not one team caps all five of the flags, uh, it goes into a three minute overtime and if no one caps the flags then, then it's just a draw. So right at the beginning of the three minute overtime, I kind of did this little like rush route to the right side of the map and wasn't able to find anyone. I didn't really know where anyone was and then I kind of went towards their spawn and I saw like four dudes just sitting there AFK and I went and killed two of them, got the DNA bomb and then everyone just disappeared because they all like timed out whether they got disconnected from Xbox or they dashboarded or whatever. It was just weird because they were all just standing there not moving so um, you know I couldn't find anyone was just rushing for those last two kills and they all just disappeared so um, initially I was kind of like what's going on but like then I'm like God, I don't care I got my DNA bomb and that's all that really matters so uh, this gameplay was a lot of fun to get um, you know there are so many gameplays with the BAL or the AK-12 or all the assault rifles because this game is by far dominated by the assault rifles and SMGs really aren't uh, the most powerful thing in the game so I'm like you know what I'm gonna challenge myself I already have like four DNA bombs. Let's try and get the fifth one uh, with the submachine gun. And it, after about 20 minutes of going for it, I was able to get this gameplay. So with a class like this, um, it can be very easy if you have a good class with the right perks, right setup, right attachments, and everything like that to kind of cater towards your play style and the play style uh, that you should be using with that weapon. So I had grip and suppressor, and I think extended mags on this class. And definitely this gun. If you guys have not tried out the submachine gun, I highly recommend you guys try this out. I did a best class up with the ASM-1 a few weeks ago, so I'll link that down in the description. You guys definitely want to try that class out. It is my favorite submachine gun class um, as far as playing the objective and getting a lot of kills goes. But for DNA bombs, I definitely want a suppressor on your gun no matter what class you are using. So I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please click the like button if you guys did enjoy for my first solo DNA bomb that I uploaded. Drop a comment down below letting me know how many solo DNA bombs you've gotten or just DNA bombs in general because I'm really curious. I know I've been struggling with this game. Uh, and I only have five DNA bombs, and it's been out for over a week now. So I'm not doing too hot. I want to see how you guys are doing. Also, subscribe for more Advanced Warfare content. Feel free to follow me on Twitter. Link for that will be down in the description. And then have a fantastic day, everyone. I'll catch you guys in another video. Peace out.